Hey, PBC, let's talk about what's coming up at Bacosan Baptist Church. First of all, I've got a correction for you. Uh, we've talked the uh, past few weeks about a communion service on January the 31st at 6 p.m. Uh, the goal was to spend a lot of time worshiping through song and then taking the Lord's Supper together as a church family. Uh, and that would be the bulk of the service. Um, however, uh, exciting uh, update. Uh, our family, Lord willing, should be able to travel uh, to complete our adoption very soon. And so in light of that, uh, uh, the elders have decided to move the first members meeting of 2021 uh, to January the 31st. We'd like to do that before our family travels. Uh, so mark your calendars, January 31st, 6 p.m. will be our next members meeting. We'll have packets, Lord willing, for you, not uh, this coming Sunday, but the following Sunday in the morning for you to uh, read up before the evening meeting. Uh, there's not football on the 31st, and so uh, hopefully uh, th that will be one less uh, thing competing for your time. So if you're a PBC member, uh, we uh, uh, encourage you to attend and to be a part of that meeting uh, with us if you're able. Um, this coming Sunday, we're continuing our sermon series through uh, this topic of biblical justice. And this Sunday, we're going to look at um, a, a term that is uh, talked about a lot in the culture, and that is the term social justice. Uh, so Thaddeus Williams, uh, in a recent book, said, uh, I am convinced that social justice is one of the most epic and age-defining controversies facing the 21st century church. In the 20th century, you would encounter the term social justice while auditing a sociology course or perhaps joining the chapter of a local activists group. Now, it is in our coffee shops, our ads for soda, our shoes and shaving cream, our fast food establishments, our Super Bowls, our internet browsers, our blockbuster movies, our kindergarten curricula, our Twitter feeds, our national media, and our pulpits. It's everywhere. So we need to know what is social justice, at least as it's presented um, in popular culture, and how does it compare to what the Bible teaches about justice? Uh, what I want to argue this Sunday is um, that social justice is a bad strategy to combat the evils of racism. I'm going to call it a worldview. I think it is a, a worldview. It's a way of, of viewing the world, looking at the world, and it's a worldview that is um, uh, ineffective, uh, ultimately, in the battle against racism because uh, as Christians, we believe that Scripture and, and the gospel message of salvation by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, is the ultimate uh, remedy to the evils of racism. Uh, so what I, what I hope to do on Sunday, we're going to be in Romans chapter 3, primarily verses uh, 19 to 20, uh, verses 9 to 20. Um, and what I want to do is I want us to uh, develop a biblical theology, a doctrine of sin. What does the Bible teach us about sin? Uh, and, and I want us to contrast a biblical doctrine of sin with um, the, the worldview of social justice and the way that it understands what's wrong with the world. And I, I think you'll see that when you get the bad news of sin wrong, you, you can't get the good news of the gospel right. So as Christians, uh, as we seek to contend for the faith once for all delivered to the saints, we need to know what scripture teaches about what evil is and, 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 uh, and how evil can be uh, forgiven at the cross of Christ. So all that's coming up in Romans chapter three, I'd encourage you to read the whole chapter in preparation for this Sunday's sermon and uh, be praying for me uh, as I continue to uh, get my thoughts together for Sunday and uh, be praying that God will use it, uh, not only to, to strengthen our understanding of his word, but also to better understand what's going on in our world uh, so that we might compassionately uh, seek and pursue and love those who are captive uh, to the world's ideologies and philosophies, okay? All that's coming up this Sunday. 
at Pocosin Baptist Church. I hope to see you there. God bless.